Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoven's Nest. I've got another farmhouse thrift store flip for you. This is a wooden toolbox caddy that I picked up at the thrift store for $4.99. Look at those pretty little ivy leaves. It's actually not a bad looking crate. It's in really good shape. And I decided that instead of painting it white this time, I'm gonna do something different and preserve the look of the wood. But I do need to get rid of those green ivy leaves. So I'm taking it outside and giving it a good sanding with my sander. It's taking off all of that green paint really nicely. And it's also going to give me down to a little bit more of the bare wood. So when I want to stain it, it's going to take the stain a lot better. I'm back inside and I'm just going to clean it up with a damp rag, get all of the dust off it, and then I'll let it dry for a couple of minutes. The first thing I'm going to do to this box is use my bare antique wax, which is like dark brown, and I'm gonna take a soft rag and just apply it on and rub it in. And this will give me a little bit of a darker finish. It'll accentuate all of the nooks and crannies and some of the knots that are in the wood. And it'll just bring out the beautiful look of it. Today's video is also part of a challenge that's hosted on a seasonal basis by Hillary over at Old World Home. If you love all things thrifting, some vlogging, back to school things, end of summer, renovations, you name it, Hillary does it. If you have not seen her channel, please go over and take a look. I'll have her link down in the description box. I'm really loving the look of this, but I think it should be a little bit darker yet. I'm doing all the way around the inside, the handle, everything. So you can see a little bit of a color difference, but I wanted it to be even a little bit more rustic and deep. I let the wax cure for about an hour and now I'm taking a dry brush with some black chalk paint and I'm going to just give it a dry brushing. This is also going to bring out a little bit more of the wood grain. It's going to get into all of those cracks and crevices and it's going to just deepen the color and make it look even more old and worn. When you're done watching my video, I would love it if you would go down into the description box and click on the playlist link. There will be a bunch of YouTube creators doing this challenge with Hillary, and you're going to see a lot of wonderful inspiration for fall. My idea for this was to create a galvanized label or something to put on the front of the tool caddy. So I'm taking a couple of these Dollar Tree cookie sheets. Now, honestly, if you've ever seen or felt these Dollar Tree cookie sheets, there is no way you could bake cookies on these. They will burn in a heartbeat. I am 100% sure of that. So please don't use these for baking cookies. Get them and use them for galvanizing. As you can see, I'm cutting this one out because I don't need the edges right now, but I will keep them for future projects. Here you can see I'm just laying it on top of the front of the tool caddy to get an idea of how wide I need this piece to be. So I'm going to just leave it the width of the cookie sheet, but I'm going to fold it in half and then cut it. When you're working with these cookie sheets, it's really important to go slow and be careful. The cut edges can be sharp. I don't know that they're sharp enough to cut you, but just take your time when you're working with these. The other tip that I can give you is what I'm doing here. I am folding up the cut edges so there isn't a cut edge that I'm working with. This will be a folded edge. It won't hurt you at all. And it really makes it safer for using this material. I'm going to fold the edges all the way around all four sides, and then I'm going to press them down with the back of my scissors. Next, you'll need to smooth out all of those little bumps from the cookie sheet. You can continue to use the, your scissors if that works for you, but I prefer to use this little craft tool that is from the Dollar Tree. It actually has a razor blade in one end. I'm using the bottom part as the smoothing piece. 
I'm going to be doing a galvanized paint technique. Now I've never done this before. This is my very first attempt. This is the back of that little aluminum sheet. I wanted to do some testing first and I think I have something that's going to look fairly good. Using the same paintbrush that I used for the dry brushing, it already has some black on it, I'm going to pounce all over the cookie sheet and get that black pretty much covered all over the place, but not really as a solid black. Second, I'm going to use a medium gray color. You can see it on the little plastic dish at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to dab my brush in, dab some off, and then continue to pounce and get a blend of the black and the gray. And you can see already the difference that just adding the gray is making. Lastly, I'm going to add some white to give it a little bit of some highlights. And then I'm just going to continue to blend until I get the look that I want. I was really happy with how this turned out and I can probably see myself doing a little bit more galvanization in the future. Now, because I wanted this tool caddy to look old, I'm taking some burnt umber acrylic paint and the same brush and I'm just going to dab mostly around the edges just to give this little plate more of a rusted look and I'll just dab a little bit through the center but mostly around the edges. I struggled a little bit trying to figure out what I wanted to put on this little galvanized plate, but I decided just to stick with the words farm fresh. This stencil happens to be a new one that I grabbed at the Dollar Tree a while ago. I'm always on the lookout for new font styles and this was something that was fairly new and it's really thick. So I'm really impressed with the quality of this one and from the Dollar Tree, Sometimes you get good stuff and sometimes you get not so good stuff, but I lucked out with this stencil. I'm using a Dollar Tree makeup sponge and some black acrylic paint to apply the stencil. Now you'll see here at the bottom that I've started with the last letter of the word fresh because I want this to be evenly spaced. So the farm word at the top started on the left and I'm starting the fresh word on the right and working my way backwards. That way I know that I'm going to have enough space for all the letters. I'm going to be filling this tool caddy with a bunch of pumpkins and gourds. So I decided to just draw a little pumpkin down on the bottom there and I'm also going to put the numbers 10 cents a pound on the other side of the word farm just to give it a little bit more of a fun farm look. Pumpkins are probably the easiest thing to draw. You draw an oval which I think everybody can probably do which would just be the letter O and then you draw two bananas on either side and you've got the makings of a really cute little pumpkin. I'm just adding some extra embellishments just to make it look a little bit more realistic. The black marker I'm using was just left over from my scrapbooking days. It's still working really well, so I thought I'm just going to use what I have. I really like how this little sign turned out, but I think the letters themselves look a little too new. And since I want this to be more of an old vintage crate, I'm just taking a little tiny dry brush and dabbing it in a little tiny bit of white and then pouncing all over the letters. This is going to give them a little bit more of a galvanized look as well and make them look like they're not so perfect. Finally, the last step, I get to actually attach this little faux galvanized sign to the front of my caddy. I'm using these upholstery tacks that are super sharp on the end and they're kind of a blackish brown blue kind of color and I thought they would be perfect. I'm just going to put one tack in each corner and that's going to hold it on perfectly. I am really happy with how this tool caddy turned out. Look at that, it is absolutely gorgeous.
I'd like to thank Hillary for hosting the challenge. It was a lot of fun and I love my little vintage tool caddy. If you like this kind of content, I'd love for you to stick around a while. Hit that subscribe button. The black arrows will show you where to click. I'd also love it if you could give me a thumbs up and share my videos with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.